Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. In today's video, I'm going to talk about virtual products in WooCommerce. So you may be wondering, what is a virtual product? Well, a virtual product is just like it says, virtual. There's nothing physical about it, so you're not getting anything delivered to you in the mail. An example of a virtual product could be a download to an ebook, a link to a virtual meeting, something like that. And they're really useful for a lot of small business owners. But in WooCommerce, it's a bit confusing as to how to set this up so that people actually get the product that they bought. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Here is the shop that I've been working on. This is just a demo site and I've been adding some products to it just to test things out. The product that I want to make virtual is this one right here, this five steps to great skin. This is just going to be a PDF that people can view after they make their purchase. Your virtual product can really be whatever you want. Maybe it's a link to a conference, maybe it's a download like this, maybe it's a full ebook, whatever it is, you're going to need to create that product in WooCommerce. Now, since this is a virtual product, we do need to add something to that product that people get when they purchase it. So in this case, it's a PDF. So I uploaded that PDF to my media library. You can see that right here. So whatever it is that you're going to deliver, you're going to have to add a link to it in the product details in order for people to be able to access it. So first I uploaded this to my media library. Now I'm going to copy this URL to my clipboard because I need to go into my product to edit it. So this is my WooCommerce product. If you're familiar with WooCommerce, you should already know how to add products. What you need to do is go down into this product data area. So this is just a simple product, but we do need to make this virtual. And when we change this to virtual, you see that this changes down here. There's a couple different things that aren't available with a virtual product. But one thing that is available is under advanced. This area for the purchase note. This is where I'm going to put my link to let people access my PDF. You can put whatever message that you want in here but it's important obviously to include that link to the PDF. So I'm just going to put download the PDF here. And then I'm going to paste in my link. So that's the link that I copied from my clipboard after I uploaded it to my media library. Now this looks kind of ugly and what I found out after doing some testing is that this doesn't actually generate a link. So you do need to add a little bit of HTML code if you want to make this a link that people can click. It does work when you get your receipt and I'll show you that later, but it doesn't work when you go to your account page. This will all make sense in a little bit. So what I'm actually going to do is add an A tag to this. I will add this to the description so you can just literally copy and paste it and put your own link in. But that's what you need to do in order to create a link. You're going to fill out everything else the exact same way you would any other product. So you'll put in your product description, you can put in the price. I'm just going to make this free just so we can see the example. I don't really want to pay for a big product, but you can obviously charge whatever you want to charge for your virtual product and put that in here, put in your product images, all that stuff remains exactly the same. And then we're just going to hit update on this. Now let's add this product to our cart to see what happens. We'll click add to cart and then we'll view the cart and then proceed to our checkout. In here, you'll fill out all your information you can see the order in here. And then after we place our order, we should get a link to download our product. I entered in all of my billing information and I was taken to the page that says my order was received. You can see here we have this 
area that says download the PDF here and then a link to download it. That's what I put in in my purchase notes. So if I click this link, it should take me to the PDF that I uploaded and it does. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload new videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!